but uh, still harvesting a little bit here at the development block. But we did just have an arrival. Um, there has been a purchase. There was a deal that was a little bit too good to pass up that we found online. And we now have got ourselves a forklift for the development block. So we'll go check it out. So this is the new toy, um, yes like I said earlier it was a deal that we've been looking at something for the development block um, for a while, just like an in-between forklift, um, so this is a 4 tonner and um, so the little one that's up at the main farm is a 2.5 tonne and the big one up at the main farm is a 9 tonne. So this is an in-between size here for the development block where if we've got chemical and, that, and things like that we don't have to use the JX with the forks on it which is a bit tricky and you can't see the forks properly and yeah it's just all that it takes is to spear a chemical shuttle with the forks on that because we can't see properly and you just about pay for what we paid for this um so yeah that was so that was um yeah it was a good find and so far there's a couple of little things that need doing to it but um yeah for the price we're absolutely stoked so she's got a Mitsubishi motor in it, but it is a cat forklift. Um, it just looks like a fairly recently new seat. Um, starts well, and yeah, it's just naturally aspirated. I think we've got to tighten a fan belt by the sounds of that, but um, yeah, it seems to have a bit of nice bit of grunt, and it's got big jewels on it. So we um yeah it'll float well and it's got good clearance too so hopefully that means we won't bottom out as much we're very excited about it well if you followed the last video um we were harvesting durum here at the development block and it just started to get too wet we had one load get rejected um and we've had to put oh it might be 100 and 120 130 ton maybe in one of the big silos here um so yeah that's under aeration so we can um, deal with that at least but we've decided to start harvesting the organic um, wheat here so um, yeah we've spent a bit of time cleaning the machines and things like that and um, yeah we're just swapping over the auger to the other silo here um, clean that all out and we are going to give it a test run see how it goes well this is usually the most pleasant time of uh of the harvest day um, just as the sun's about to set it's um it's just setting over the trees there it's just a gentle breeze perfect temperature and um it's yeah it's good so the organic stuff is yielding like it's not not great considering but um it's better than we, what we potentially thought so um yeah just gonna have to see how it goes it's all very patchy um obviously with all the rain and the water logging it couldn't get the nutrients it needed um and there was um obviously we weren't able to apply um nitrogen or urea to it um and yeah that that usually makes a big difference to um overall yield but anyway it's um it's a crop at least and we're harvesting it and it's just fair going to be very slow because there's rocks um Pretty much all through it so that's a, one of the reasons why we've gone organic on um, a certain section of this of the development block um, just because it needed rock picking we needed to cultivate to bring the rocks up to then rock pick them um, and yeah while cultivating you've got to do that for organics obviously you can't spray so it was just a good opportunity to um, make the most get a bit of a premium for the for what we grow the way the season turned out um, yeah the yields have suffered more so with the organic side than than the others so um, that's just how it is, but it's um, yeah, I'm just gonna enjoy the evening We've got to send the red chaser bin in there because it can handle the rocks and the bad terrain a bit better um, Yeah, we don't want to chew up the tracks on this and um, Yeah, so Josiah's just on that and then he's gonna ferry back fill me up Then I'll head back to the silo put it in the truck put it in the silo then come back and that's just how it's gonna be but uh, moisture's pretty well on the limit, so we're probably not going to be going very late. Um, probably once dark hits, we'll, we'll knock off and, um, and have another crack tomorrow, I'd say.
Well, we're back into it. So it's going to be much the same today, I think. It's going to be a little bit slow with all the rocks. Um, and yeah, just trying not to damage anything. But everything's been going pretty well. Um, yeah, haven't had any issues recently, so that's good. But what's actually going to happen now is there's a fair bit of spraying that needs to be done. So I've got the short straw and I've got to go spraying. There's a few days worth of spraying, yeah, just to get, get control of the weeds that were in the growing with the crop. So yeah, I'm not going to be here for a little bit. Hopefully nothing too exciting happens while I'm away. Well guys, just before I head off spraying, um, I've just done a bit of a loop in the loader and going around to some of the causeways that have washed out, just filling in here, in here and there, and I'm just sort of headed to chase me to get through and that sort of thing. But I am going to one last causeway, and it's actually the one where we laid down some uh, some of that rock, and I'm just going to check it out after the, all the rain we had and see how it went. There's one header up there.
Well, I was a bit delayed with um, all that loader work, um, so that took a little bit longer than expected, but I'm probably going to go and might get one load of spray out today. Um, that's probably what I'll be doing tomorrow. Um, so there probably won't be much footage of the harvest side of things for a, a few days or so. But just an update here and there, um, but we'll see how we go. Well guys, we're back here at the development block and we're just finishing off the last of the organic wheat. So there's only probably half an hour or so left um, and then we'll be trying the durum um, which is on the development block. So we'll be trying that again. Um, there's probably, there's about 200, a bit over 200, maybe 250 hectares of durum left. Um, but yeah, you can see here, there isn't much left. I'm just about to throw the drain up and uh, get some shots. And um, yeah, I, I don't think it'll be long at all. This is the last strip of the organic wheat. Um, yeah, it's all gone fairly well, I think. And Brad's just finishing off this strip. And um, yeah, I think we'll be shuffling some vehicles around. And uh, yeah, back into it tomorrow on the Jura, maybe. We'll give that a try. probably leave the video there for now um, just make sure to hit the like button if you enjoy it subscribe if you haven't already and we'll catch you in the next one